Google just made AI up to six times cheaper, and you control how smart it gets. Their newest model, Gemini 2.5 Flash, lets developers decide exactly how much thinking the AI should do before answering. Less reasoning means faster results and drastically lower costs. This is a major shift in how AI is priced, and it's already live across Google AI Studio, Vertex AI, and the Gemini app. In this video, you'll see how the thinking budget works, how it compares to ChatGPT and Claude, and why this one feature could redefine the economics of running AI at scale. Let's get into it. What Gemini 2.5 Flash actually is. Gemini 2.5 Flash is part of Google's Gemini model family, but stands out for one main reason. It allows developers to dynamically adjust reasoning depth based on the task. Google refers to it as their first fully hybrid reasoning model. The system is designed to be lightweight and fast when necessary, but also capable of deeper, multi-step reasoning when the task demands it. It's currently available in preview mode through Google AI Studio and Vertex AI and is labeled as 2.5 Flash Experimental inside the Gemini mobile app, replacing the earlier Gemini 2.5 2.0 thinking model. At the heart of Gemini 2.5 Flash is the thinking budget, a token-based system that lets developers cap how much computational effort the model is allowed to use before generating a response. This cap can range from 0 to 24,576 tokens. The budget functions as a maximum limit rather than a fixed requirement, meaning the model will only use what it needs based on the complexity of the input. Simple queries like, what's the capital of France, might require minimal reasoning, but questions involving math problem solving, legal document parsing, or technical analysis can trigger more in-depth thinking. The ability to scale reasoning dynamically allows developers to save resources on straightforward tasks while still accessing advanced processing when needed. How the thinking budget works. One of the common issues with most commercial AI models today is the lack of transparency around how much compute is being used to generate an output. Developers are typically charged based on token usage, but they can't control how much of that usage goes toward reasoning versus output. With Gemini 2.5 Flash, that changes. Setting the thinking budget to zero disables deep reasoning altogether, prompting the model to return responses using a lightweight fast generation mode. This is ideal for tasks like social media copy, summaries, translations, or other low complexity outputs. On the other hand, increasing the budget gives the model permission to perform more sophisticated internal reasoning. This might include evaluating multiple solution paths, chaining logical steps together, or analyzing structured content. In Google AI Studio, users can view the model's intermediate thoughts an insight into the reasoning process before the final output is delivered. In the API version, these thoughts aren't visible, but developers can still monitor token usage during processing. This system introduces a layer of accountability and cost transparency that's rarely available in other platforms. Breaking down the cost savings, Gemini 2.5 Flash introduces a tiered pricing model that gives developers granular control over cost, something that hasn't been standard across most commercial AI platforms. Rather than charging a flat rate per output token regardless of task complexity, Google now separates costs based on whether reasoning is enabled or not. Here's how the pricing breaks down. Input tokens are priced at 15 cents per million, which is fairly standard. But the real change comes in output pricing. If reasoning is disabled, output tokens cost 60 cents per million. If reasoning is enabled, that cost rises to $3.50 per million. That's nearly a six-fold increase, meaning developers can save up to 600% simply by adjusting the level of thinking the model performs. In practice, this flexibility has major cost implications. For high-volume tasks like customer support, where responses are straightforward, reasoning can be turned off to reduce expenses. For complex use cases like legal analysis or financial modeling, reasoning can be enabled when needed, ensuring quality where it counts. This selective approach helps teams allocate resources more efficiently. Instead of paying premium rates across every interaction, developers can control spending based on task complexity. It also lowers the barrier for smaller teams to use advanced AI, making budgeting more predictable across different workflows. Benchmark performance against other leading models. Cost control is important, but a model still needs to perform reliably across benchmarks to be viable. On Humanity's Last Exam, a test designed to evaluate general knowledge and deep reasoning, Gemini 2.5 Flash scored 12.1%. That places it ahead of Claude 3.7 Sonnet at 8.9% and DeepSeek R1 at 8.6%, though it falls short of OpenAI's O4 Mini, which scored 14.3%. Beyond that, Gemini Flash shows consistency on more specialized benchmarks. It scored 78.3% on GPQA Diamond, which tests graduate-level science and engineering knowledge, and posted strong results on the 
the AME mathematics exams, 78.0% on the 2025 version and 88.0% on the 2024 version. These benchmarks highlight the model's strength in structured problem solving, mathematical reasoning, and long context analysis, areas that typically demand more processing power. Flash delivers these results despite being smaller and faster than many competitors, which speaks to its efficiency. While it doesn't lead every category, Gemini 2.5 Flash is clearly competitive. It strikes a balance between performance, speed, and cost control, making it one of the more configurable options available to developers and teams optimizing for real-world deployments, when to use and not use reasoning. The flexibility of Gemini 2.5 Flash lies in its ability to toggle between fast, simple outputs and slower, more thoughtful reasoning. This opens up a new layer of strategic deployment. For developers and companies, the key is knowing when to use reasoning and when to skip it. In use cases like chatbots, basic question answering, text translation, or social media caption generation, reasoning is often unnecessary. These are tasks where the input is clear, the output is straightforward, and the risk of getting it wrong is low. Disabling thinking in these scenarios saves both time and budget allowing for high-throughput AI interactions without overpaying for unused compute. On the other hand, some applications demand deeper understanding, analyzing legal contracts, solving math problems, conducting medical literature review, or generating multi-step code solutions all benefit from having reasoning enabled. In these cases, the cost increase may be justified by the quality and reliability of the response. As Tulsi Doshi, product director for Gemini Models at Google DeepMind explained to VentureBeat, we want to offer developers the flexibility to adapt the amount of the thinking the model does depending on their needs. That flexibility now enables AI to be applied more selectively rather than treating every task as a high-effort problem. Google's bigger strategy. Gemini 2.5 Flash wasn't released in isolation. It's part of a broader series of updates Google rolled out during a strategic push dubbed AI Week. Alongside the Flash model, Google launched two additional efforts designed to expand its user base and functionality. First, all U.S. college students were granted free access to Gemini Advanced until spring 2026. This move positions Google to build early loyalty among students who may go on to become the next generation of developers, researchers, or decision makers in tech. By offering premium tools for free now, Google is making a long-term investment in its future user base. Second, Google unveiled VO2, a new video generation tool that enables the creation of 8-second video clips for from simple text prompts. While still in early stages, this expansion into text-to-video shows Google's intent to build out its multimodal capabilities, placing it in direct competition with platforms like OpenAI's Sora and Runway. When it comes to overall usage, OpenAI's ChatGPT continues to lead with approximately 800 million weekly users according to third-party estimates. Gemini, by contrast, currently serves around 250 to 275 million users monthly. The gap is still significant, but Google's recent moves indicate a focused effort to accelerate adoption especially by targeting developers and students with scalable tools and incentives. Early access and what's next for developers. Although Gemini 2.5 Flash is currently in preview, it's fully usable through multiple channels. Developers can begin working with it today via Google AI Studio, Vertex AI, and the Gemini mobile app, where it appears under the name 2.5 Flash, experimental. This replaces the older 2.0 thinking, experimental model. Access to the model is available now, but general availability has not been officially announced. During this preview period, Google is actively seeking developer feedback. This allows the company to observe how the thinking budget is being used in real-world applications and to iterate accordingly. For developers looking to test the boundaries between cost and performance, this early access offers an opportunity to experiment with a novel approach to AI reasoning. It also provides a chance to shape how future versions of Gemini handle dynamic cognition and adaptive processing. Why this changes the AI game for startups and enterprises. Until now, most AI platforms treated every task with the same level of compute intensity regardless of whether it was necessary. This one-size-fits-all approach worked, but it wasn't efficient. Gemini 2.5 Flash introduces a model where reasoning becomes an adjustable parameter, not a default setting. For startups, this means they can stretch limited budgets further by switching off reasoning for simple tasks. For enterprises, it means they can scale intelligently, investing more compute only when a task requires high-stakes reasoning. The result is a more nuanced, efficient deployment of AI across workflows. This shift doesn't just reduce costs, it introduces a new economic model for AI, one where performance is customizable and pricing is transparent. As more businesses adopt AI at scale, that kind of control could become a standard expectation, and with Google setting the tone on dynamic cognition and usage-based pricing, the way developers build and budget for AI is already starting to change. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.